Alright guys, we're back on the Great One Moose Grind, 2633 kills in. And as you can see, that level 4 right there may be the diamond number 12. It has a rack that usually scores above 270, so it has a really high chance to make it. If it is big enough, it will be the third level 4 diamond of the grind, although the estimate doesn't go as high as the first two, but we know that doesn't matter as much. Just gonna make a few calls here. Gonna get him close to 100 meters because on this occasion I wanna use the 12 gauge Cachatore with slugs. I know it is a pretty unconventional choice, but it's fun to hit the hard with it. They are coming in. Already below 120, getting close to 100. He is quartering towards us, so we have a good chance to hit the hard here. Let's see. Now he's walking straight towards us, the angle couldn't be better. Except that he just turned around, that's unfortunate. Gonna call him again. Now this seems to be our chance. We need to be careful since this side barely has any zoom. Right there. And that was a hard shot. This is perhaps the diamond number 12 in third level 4. Let's see. 272.18 is not a diamond sadly, but it was really, really close. This is just 42 kills after the massive level 4 and there we have a diamond potential level 5. It is impossible to know if it is gonna be the diamond number 12, the estimate doesn't tell us much, but if you ask me I would say it is more likely it is the troll number 6 since apparently it doesn't have brow times, and that certainly increases the chances of it being a troll, but regardless of that, we're gonna do the same we did last time, we're gonna call them in, and I'm gonna go for a hard shot with the 12 gauge Cachatore. He is coming in fast and he's already close enough to be accurate with the reflex sight. So I'ma take a shot once he stops. Let's go for it. He's alert and quartering to us, not the best angle, so I think we should wait. Let's see. Now he's attentive and walking straight towards us, so we have a perfect head on angle to go for the heart. Oof, I almost took the shot that was close. You know what? That's it. It is a troll, the troll number 6, 263.76 score. It is tiny to be a level 5, but as I said, the brow times are non existent, so that probably tanked the score. We are 2768 kills in, almost 100 kills since the last troll, the grind is getting tougher. You know, trophy wise, not much has happened in the last 300 harvests, and I've been having to make several adjustments to my setup because the zones just keep moving around. A lot of the spots that used to be good at the start are not reliable anymore, so there's no consistency. But luckily, we also have some good news because I just spotted another candidate to be the diamond number 12. It is a level 5 as well with an estimate that is more promising than the last one. That doesn't mean that it cannot be troll, but at least this one has brow times. And well, on this occasion, we're gonna use the 300 instead of the Cacciatore, but with iron sights. Of course, I wanna hit the hard with it, so let's get him at a reasonable range by using the color. There's also a decent size 4, 240 plus. And now the 5 is below 80, so we have a good chance to take a shot. We got him. Let's see if we can drop the 4 as well. Just gonna get it long, but he's running away right there. That should be enough. Yeah, the health is going down, so he's gonna die in a few seconds, but anyway, let's see how big is this level 5. It is a 25.28 diamond, finally the diamond number 12.
It's been more than a hundred kills since the last time on and more than a thousand since the last big rack level 5 like that one. That is a potential 300 scoring diamond which would be the second of the grind. The first one was a max weight as well so love to see this one being the second but it could also just score high to 90s. So it's not a guaranteed 300 by any means but the important thing is that it is a guaranteed diamond. And consequently the diamond number 13 as well. Anyway, let's imagine it is a great one and let's get him with the recurve. We will have to get really close to them, ideally around 40 meters, so I'ma head over to that brushy area to find some full cover. Hopefully this shrub provides us the cover we need. Alright, we are completely hidden now, which is great, so now let's see exactly where these guys are. Oh, right there. Pretty sure he's alert, he heard us. But the wind is luckily still good enough so we can keep crawling. Now he's just a 10 if and 40 meters away. So I would say the best option here is to use the color to get him as close as possible and maybe why not get a hard shot with the recurve. It is a risky shot without any doubt, so the closer the better. Alright, let's see. He's getting close quickly. 30 meters away, I'm pretty sure he will get even closer. Ok, now he is quickly approaching the 20 meter mark and quartering to us. So let's get ready with the recurve. And let's go for it. That's it, we got the heart. I guess he also wants a heart shot, so we're gonna give it to him. Is he there? Let's see. We got him. Alright, let's see a score of this guy, it is a potential 300. Unfortunately, he didn't land on a good position to take a picture, but it wouldn't be the first I take of a big rack level 5, so it doesn't matter. 298.04 It is absolutely massive, big enough to be the second biggest pull of the grind in the diamond number 13. Alright guys, we're back on Rebel Tully Coast to keep trying to find some of the rares I haven't gotten, like for example the white and the red Willow Termigan or any of the rares for the Hazel Grouse. And for the umpteenth time, in order to increase our chances, we'll be using this route to cover some of the best locations to hunt all these species and hopefully finally find one of these rares. Alright guys, I just came across the track of a potential level 3 Hazel Grouse. It may be the first diamond of the hunt, so I'll do my best to find it as soon as possible. That's a Capper Kaylee. It is a max estimate, which means it has a chance to be big. But not sure if we got him. And now there is a Hazel Grouse warning call, which I imagine is the big boy. But we have another Capper Kaylee instead, it's not as big as last one, it's not even a max estimate. So I wonder if we actually hit the first one. Surprisingly we did, he's right there. Let's see the score. 4.44 it is a medium sized gold and we actually got him twice. We hit the first shot at 71 meters and the second at 85. Oh, that must be the big one. Ok, level 2 up to 427, it doesn't have any chance to make it, but we are still gonna drop him with the Cacciatore before he gets too far. That's it. It is a 426.71. It is scored pretty much at the top of the estimate, but unfortunately that's not enough to be more than a big old. I just found something fantastic here guys. I came across this distorted vegetation and as you can see it says leucistic. At first I thought it was from a Capper Kaylee because this area is full of Capper Kayleys, but then I checked and it is in fact from a Black Rouse, a leucistic Black Rouse. It is one of the rares I've been trying to find since the map came out so I'm really happy to see we finally have the chance to add one to our collection. We just need to find it which probably won't be simple. These guys are quite hard to track so this could be the beginning of a long chase. Oh, right there. That's a female. Two females. So I wonder if the rare is also here. He doesn't seem to be. 
Alright, warning call. Oh, look! They are coming this way. We may have a chance here, assuming it is the same flock. That is a male. That was a male and probably the leucistic. Here we have it. It is the variant that has the dark neck. There are multiple models for the leucistic, multiple variations, I don't know exactly how many, but I am pretty sure I have seen two or three posted, and this one is, I would say, my favorite. 112.57, finally a leucistic black rouse. Beautiful. <laughs> 